Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video today. I have a special message for you and this one is coming with the number 222. Number 222 is important message when it comes to manifestation and vibrational alignment. So here's something you must know today. Prepare yourself for the next chapter of your life as you're letting go of the past you're also opening doors to a completely new future that is greater than you could ever imagine so pay attention to the synchronicities in your life which are showing you the way this is truly important thing to understand my friends because we were talking a lot about letting go and yesterday I've made a whole video about how to learn to manifest much faster, how to learn to navigate your mind or to organize your mind so you can align your energy with the manifestation and therefore you start attracting it into your life. Or in other words, you start connecting yourself with that potential future and therefore you start seeing synchronicities which are kind of uh, way showers in which direction to go and in this message i want to remind you that as you're letting go of the past as you're f ending the the limited beliefs from the past or certain emotional blocks from the past as you're moving on through that ascension and you're awakening to the greater awareness and greater understanding of yourself, your old energy is clearing and you may feel lighter, you may feel more alive, you may, you may feel more connected with yourself, with your heart and your in intuition may speak louder. So if you feel any of that, it is a beautiful sign that you are ascending and you are waking up to the greater truth of who you truly are. And as we are moving forward, we may recognize that not all of those things are beautiful. Sometimes we may recognize that the things we used to believe in, even if those are certain spiritual beliefs or certain beliefs connected with uh, spirituality or with religion or with something we've been told in the past, we may recognize that we are overgrowing those beliefs because we don't need beliefs anymore. We don't need to, you know, to hold on to certain concepts just because somebody told us that. It's all about self-research. It's all about finding your own way, creating your own way, practicing, seeing what works, what doesn't work and find where you feel more naturally drawn to because that's where your soul is calling you. So the best way to explain what is happening right now is that you're becoming more pure. When you were born here on earth, you were as pure as you can be. But then we start perceiving programs and our environment starts uh, pushing programs into us and we start to believe into certain things and we start following certain things and we attach ourselves to certain things and suddenly we start identifying with all those different certain things. And because all of those things are limited, we feel limited. And if we attach ourselves to smaller beliefs or to more limited beliefs, we will feel smaller, we will feel more limited. And if we attach ourselves to more negative beliefs, we will feel like we are a negative person, like we are a bad person or unworthy. So to find that feeling of worthiness means that we need to learn how to move through all those beliefs within ourselves to find that energy which is pure, to find that completely pure energy which is always there. Like you've put the layers over that pure energy of certain thoughts, beliefs, ideas, concepts, stories, and you've started believing that. But more often we tap into that pure energy when we enter into that inner quietness. Sometimes we can use meditation, sometimes we can go for a long walk or we do something we love, we enter into that inner quietness. And that's where that pure energy is always present 
this is our home and that's where you step back into your home that's what we call the the inner home we step back to home and more often we practice that more we become it much easier it is to embody that energy so more often you tap into that uh, pure energy which may feel as love it may feel as blissfulness it may feel as like not like ecstasy but it may feel like a complete harmony more often you tap into this much easier will be for you to let go of anything which is not that pure energy it becomes like a natural process and because i know that many of you are doing that many of you are moving through that and sometimes also a certain video can help you to tap into that energy sometimes music can help you to tap into that energy sometimes a certain movie can help you to tap into it Whenever you do that, letting go becomes much easier. And as you let go of those limitations, you open completely new doors, which are for you on that new dimension, when your energy is stronger, uh, where your energy is stronger, where you are getting more pure, you, you start existing on a completely new dimension. And for many of you, it is happening right now. That's why you've started hearing your intuition much louder. Because in that pure state, intuition is so loud that, that we can't ignore it anymore. And that inner guidance becomes so clear that we truly can't ignore it anymore. And why it is important? Because once we know how to align ourselves with that inner uh, we can call it divine mechanism, we can't feel lost anymore, we can't feel unworthy anymore, we can't feel stuck anymore, because we recognize, well, this energy is always moving, always flowing, everything is flowing, like the river is flowing, like the wind is flowing, the clouds and the sky are flowing, this energy is flowing, it is circulating, and we may recognize as this energy is flowing, creativity is flowing, abundance is flowing, health is flowing, joy, happiness, it is all flowing, everything is flowing. So all we need to do is to learn to express it, learn to use your body as a tool to express that pure energy. So for example, for me, I found out that through painting, I can express that energy the best way possible of course i needed to learn to, the skill to paint so we need to sharpen up our gifts you know to build or to to gain the skill to do what uh, to do something which helps us to express that pure energy and why it is important of course it's all connected with alignment because being in that pure energy is alignment manifesting things is like a complete automatic natural thing because it's not about manifestations anymore when we get into that pure energy it's not about manifestations anymore it's about expressing that pure energy and the, the universe starts providing you everything you need everything you write down as a thing you need in your life in order to do more of of what you're doing with expressing that pure energy so if it is still um, hard to understand that the best way to imagine it is like you are a light being and often in my guided meditations i'm guiding you into awakening that inner light so once we awaken that inner light we experience that pure energy like an inner peace an inner harmony or we experience a great uh, sense of love and as soon as we experience that we recognize okay this is this is how that energy feels like this is how i i should feel like uh, any time in a day but then we start wondering why i don't feel like that what is waiting me off that state because on the vibrational scale we could find out that when we tap into that inner light our energy uh, ri raise up really really high we feel really high on life without any substances right 
But then when we start questioning what is lowering down our vibration, we may recognize where those are certain habits maybe, certain beliefs maybe, still certain uh, reactions towards circumstances in our lives, or maybe reactions to certain people. Doesn't matter if you find people in your life which you would describe as toxic people, the question is, how you are reacting to these people. Because sometimes we like to force certain information, certain wisdom or certain knowledge to certain people because we want good for them, right? We want to help them. But some people are not ready to, to receive our help. So even though you are trying to help them, they perceive you as you're forcing them to change and you can't do that because it's against their free will, it's against their evolution. And that's where you start arguing with them and then you describe them as toxic people. You see, those people are just people which are, which are moving through their own evolution and if they are not ready to receive your help, you can't help them. So whatever is happening in your life, it all, all depends on how you perceive it. And more we tap into that pure vibration of being, pure energy of being, more we see things clearly as they are and less we tend to react to them. We respond the best possible way, which feels the most um, beneficial for us. But we learn to react um, with less tension. Or we take more time to recognize what feels right, what we actually want to do with that. And that's where we gain that emotional intelligence. Because it doesn't matter what kind of emotions we sense in our bodies, we don't need to be victims of our emotions. We don't need to respond a certain way just because we feel emotionally like that. We can learn to to self-navigate ourselves, doesn't matter how we feel. And it is a truly self-mastery to recognize what feels right deep inside your heart by, by in tuning with your intuition, with your inner intelligence. So I want to remind you with this video, as this topic is a bit more complex, but I know that more of you are ascending on that level of understanding yourself i know that you know what i'm talking about and i'm talking to your soul so i hope you can feel it and i hope you can connect with your inner guidance so it's not about doing what i say to do it's about uh, asking yourself what you need to do and finding what feels right so it's all about self-empowerment it's all about self-mastery it's all about finding out for yourself what feels right, what is the best thing to do. So remind yourself that you can bring more light and happiness to the world by being joyful, by being pure. Every time you are, actually every time you are joyful, every time you do something joyfully, like for me it is painting, it is making these videos, I'm joyful about it. Every time we do that, we bring more light to the world. We bring more happiness to the world. So you see, it's not about forcing anything. We are not forcing that. We put it out for people which feel attracted to it. You came to this video because you felt attracted to it. And that's how the energy works. You feel attracted to something because there's something you must know. There's something you need to know. And if you're able to find lessons in what you're perceiving, the evolution of your soul is happening. And this is really, really amazing. So remember that you can bring more light and happiness to the world by being joyful. And find the ways to express your joy. Like I always say to you, for some it is art, for others it's science. For then again, for others it's taking care of kids or pets or gardening, or, or being a mechanic, or whatever it is. If you're joyful about it, you are making a new world. You're completely shifting this dimension. You're completely awakening people around you. 
in a completely new, unique way. You see, it's not about forcing, it's the old way. It's about shining your light in your own unique way. And of course, your positive energies will radiate more love outwards. That's why people start um, waking up to the greater truth because there's more and more love present. More and more people are opening their hearts and that, that's why there's more and more love present in the world. Even though sometimes it's hard to see that, but it's a long term process which is happening actually in the background it's on the vibrational level we can't see it but if we in tune with the energy right now we can sense that there's more love present than ever before and more you're tapping onto that vibration of love more you're uh, strengthening it more you're helping it to grow and as love is growing fear is decreasing its power and that is so amazing my friends and i'm happy that you're a part of that process because love brings so much more than just uh, feeling good than just feeling worth it brings more health it brings more happiness it brings more positive productivity it brings more creativity and my friends i feel more creative than ever right now and i hope you feel that way too also remember that whatever you send out on the energetic vibrational level, you will receive. So the universe is not listening your your words and wishes. It is listening the vibration you are emanating and generating. So of course, words can be used as driving mechanism for vibration, for feeling. So use the words which can uplift your vibration. Use the words which can uplift your spirit because that's how you will start emanating greater energy. For example, when you think about abundance or prosperity, like you, you are prosperous, not the way that um, it is already present in a financial situation. Maybe it is already and that's great. But if it's not, think about prosperity as air you breathe, as water you drink as seeing beautiful colors all around you, prosperous. Not to say, well, it's not money or whatever, but just to awaken the, the energy of it. Awaken the energy of prosperity. And same is with health. See how many people are, are healthy on this world. Mental health, emotional health, physical health. Think about how many people are healing because you are do doing that work. How healthy you are. Maybe you can recognize that you are more healthy, that you are healthier than ever. If that's so, feel some appreciation for that. And whatever kind of vibration you want to awaken, some words can help you with that. So be, be, be truly conscious what kind of words you're using because it is affecting on your energy. And also remind yourself to celebrate who you are and who you are becoming because nothing is better than celebrating yourself as you are, accepting yourself fully, all the different aspects of yourself, the good parts, the bad parts, whatever good and bad is, even though everything just is. And we tend to perceive things as positive and negative, but everything is part of this existence and you are exactly how you need to be in order to find your true authentic self. And once you will find your true self, you will completely understand <laughs> that you were exactly how you needed to be in order to get to that point of great realization that you are a miracle and you should celebrate that already because even if you're not aware of that yet celebrate that you are becoming more aware of um, what kind of a great miracle you are and <laughs> it, it is so beautiful like i'm smiling when i'm thinking about that and sometimes it is sad to see how many people are not truly honoring the the gift of being a human because of course it's so easy to be distracted on this world but as soon as we start appreciating that gift of being in that physical form having the ability to taste what we are creating like when we are cooking a good meal and we can taste it or we 
we make a music and we we can hear it we can hear beautiful melodies or we create an artwork and we can see it or we can hear it and we go outside into the nature and we can sense the colors we can smell the fresh air of the ocean or of the mountains or in general of nature and we can see the movement of trees being present with that experiencing the stillness of nature and having fun with animals which are living on the same plane and you know having opportunity to experience all of that is a miracle but as we've lost that connection through the history of time now we are getting to the point where we are getting that connection back up and because we see how messy the world has become it is truly our responsibility to bring more of that pure energy back back here back out there and awaken enlighten the dark places and you see as soon as you will start expressing and emanating more of that pure energy your life will start shifting so much as and as i told you before i know that your life is already changing and i'm truly happy for you i'm celebrating you i love you all and i appreciate you all my friends thanks for being a part of this awesome attract passion community it's so beautiful to see all of your comments i'm reading them daily i'm checking up what's happening and also i want to remind you there are some so many scammers in the comment section so don't interact with with anyone who is pretending to be me every time when comment comes from me there's a blue badge beside the name attract passion if there is no blue badge beside the name it's not me so it's a scam because sometimes the scammers are using my photo and my name so pay attention to that the youtube is taking care of it there's a new filter which should or supposed to to delete those comments but i'm not sure if it's working yet so be careful with that and my friends i will finish it here i hope you've enjoyed today's painting my latest painting which i've just finished yesterday and i'm happy to share it with you let me know what you think about it in the comments below what it represents to you to me it is a symbol of freedom and i love to create artwork which can help us to awaken certain emotional state because freedom is a state of being it is something we awaken within ourselves and when we feel free we are truly um we want to create we want to help one another we care for one another we feel worthy we feel enough we feel like everything is already in our presence and we can use whatever we have to 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 make this world a better place so freedom is an internal experience in experience and i wanted to make an artwork which can remind us of that feeling feeling free internally before something changes outside of us because once we feel free we start behaving differently and once we match our actions with our intentions and inner feelings we will shift our life will completely shift our life and i hope it can inspire you in that way so this is it for today my friends i'm sending you lots of love blessings and power have a beautiful day until next time one love